Hi, First Church family. It's John. Good to see you. And uh, welcome to my Staying Connected video. I want to talk, give you some updates on our uh, structural work that's been transpiring over the last uh, couple of weeks. You have seen those support beams, I'm sure, uh, sticking up through the area outside the uh, the, through the floor and all the way to the ceiling in the area outside the kitchen. And then this, our plastic tunnel, which is keeping the dust down as much as possible through uh, mo most of the church. And all of the work that Kerry Fulmer and his team have been doing has been to the structural foundation of the area that uh, is underneath the kitchen, a little bit into the nursery and the area uh, walking into the fellowship hall. So that kind of work was the kind of work that needed to be done uh, by Kerry and his crew first thing. And uh, to add to, the, again, the structural integrity of our building. Okay, uh, let me show you some photos here of the work that was done really uh, a week ago uh, not this past week, but the week prior. This is Jesus, and Jesus is he's doing work right here, as you can see, underneath the walls as he's preparing the footings that uh, uh, will that uh, carry most of the support for this portion of our building. And again, this is kind, this kind of work uh, you won't. I mean, even though he's making a big mess right here, this kind of work you, you will be cleaned up and behind the walls and you'll never see it, but it took uh, Kerry and his team over two weeks to do this kind of work. Um, that's in the classroom uh, that's right at the bottom of the stairs. This is a looking down into uh, two of the support footings. Uh, Kerry's guys had to jackhammer about two feet under down into the foundation as you can see right here uh, there is some rebar down there that uh, they were putting in place and about a week ago a little bit more than a week ago this the concrete was laid so, so I'm showing this um, this work so that you could see what was causing all the mess and <laughs> everything in the church for a period of time this doorway actually leads into the kids connection room uh, this pic picture here is the end of the hallway. The plastic is up right here, protecting uh, the kids' connection room from all the dust and everything. But these are two of the uh, uh, support foundations that were dug by Kerry and his team. And then the other two were dug right at the bottom of the 28th Street steps, which are right here uh, on the left side of the photograph. And then there's one... Uh, footing and then the other footing is there to the left. And then Kerry's uh, men uh, also worked quite a bit on the support beams coming from the footings up to the uh, the bottom of the main floor. Here's one and uh, most of the support beams is right here and across the top. You really can't see it because they had to access the cross beam by cutting open the floor of the uh, area right outside the kitchen. So that's now all been, uh, there's still some more work that they need to do. Hey, uh, let me show you some other shots I, I found as we're getting ready for our centennial celebration here at First Church in 2022. This photograph was taken from what is now our fellowship hall, but notice the mic flag. KFBK NBC. Apparently, they did a live broadcast from uh, the, uh, the the old chapel, uh, the old sanctuary. This is a uh, well. This is the platform, uh, the way it used to look um, back up until they used uh, that. By the way, the baptistry area. Um, they used this sanctuary, uh, which is now our fellowship hall, through about 1969. Uh, this photograph was taken right after the uh, the nursery office annex. The tower was built in 1948, and uh, it's the S Street steps, as you can see. And, of course, we restored that. And uh, these two sconces you see right here on both sides of the doorway, we'll be putting up very similar sconces in just the coming weeks outside the S Street entrance. This goes back probably, this photograph might be back in the 1930s, before the tower and the what they call the Garner Annex of our building was put in. Hey, real quick, I want to commend 
Bob and Ellen Holmgren and Ron Ferns for their excellent landscape work. Here we are five, five and a half months after the initial planting of these wonderful plants and they are taking quite well and really making our S Street side look good. And now why don't we take a look at uh, the accessibility ramp. Uh, this is the uh, ramp. It's now the concrete was laid a week ago today and uh, now really looks nice. There will be railing that will be on both sides of this uh, ramp. Uh, that railing probably will be put in this week and uh, right along this area right here. Um, and quickly, let's remind those of you that work in our closed closet uh, that we will f definitely be closed this week. The closed closet will. Trying to reopen on April 2nd. That is a little tentative, but we'll let you know. Hey, thanks for watching my video. God bless you.